welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my intro for Nightmare on Panning Street. This is a fantastic ladies project. It was created by my friend Valerie and by Jaylin, who I got to know through Valerie. I'm super excited for this project. I really wanted to support my friends and the project itself sounded so much fun. Uh, it is based on Halloween movies. So there were 40 movies. Uh, Valerie and Jaylin chose 40 movies. And for each movie, they uh, created kind of like a prompt so you can um, relate it to a product. Uh, the project starts on Halloween 31st. It is randomly selected prompts. So you could go six or 13. I started with six. And then you can set your own goal for whatever the prompt is. Um, some of the products that I chose, I do want to finish. Some of them, I just want to meet a certain number of usage goals. Uh, it is a rolling project pan, totally random. So as soon as you finish a product, uh, you will roll in for a new prompt and then so on and so on and so on. I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and get started. I already chose my prompts. Uh, I, I did the random number generator. It generated six numbers for me. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. The first one that came up was uh, number 10, which is Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, the prompt that they, uh, that Jalen and uh, Valerie came up with, or the description of how they translated that movie is a dupe for an item you dream about purchasing. Okay, this was a little bit of a struggle for me because usually if I buy a dupe for a product, I also own the the product it's duping, except for this one. And it is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I, um, there were like some way back when this first came out, um, some people were really duping it to the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And then the, and then e.l.f. came out with the mint one, which also people were duping to the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So both of these are considered dupes, this one and the mint one. I'm going to go ahead and use this one because this is the one that I really, really wanted. And then when it went out of stock, I was like, oh my God, I missed out. And then e.l.f. brought it back. So I had to pick it up. Um, I don't own the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I really thought about purchasing that, but hey, I have a dupe for something that I don't really own. Um, for this one, I do want to use it 10 times. It is, I think I've used it only like three or four times. So I do want to use it 10 times um, and then I'll roll something else in in its place. I know not that many uses, but just it's okay. Uh, the second prompt that I rolled in was movie number 11, which is The Omen 666, which uh, how Valerie and Jaylen translated that or what they said you could use for that is use six pans in a palette six times. Ooh, this was a hard one. I couldn't decide if I want to do an eyeshadow palette or if I was going to do a face palette or or what I was going to do. I went ahead and chose a face palette because I figured, you know, this gives me the opportunity to use this thing a little bit more. And the one that I went with is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit, the Unlocked Palette. This was a holiday, not last year. I think it was the year before. But then again, they brought it out um, last year. So there's six pans in here. I do want to use each single one of these pans six times. This way, I was like, okay, if I do an eyeshadow palette, then I have to decide which pans, which six pans out of like a 12 pan eyeshadow palette. So it was easier to just go with something like this. The pans are already there. Use each one six times and that will be it. Uh, number three, which was the movie number 22, which is called The Thing. And for that is uh, an item that you're not sure how to use. Okay. This one was a little bit of a tough one, and this is probably why I ended up only doing 10 uses out of the e.l.f. primer, because I don't know if this is a primer, is it a skincare, what is it? And this is the Becca Skin Love Glow Elixir, Glow Nectar Brightening Hydra, Hydra Complex. Becca's no longer in business, and this guy, I don't know what to do with it. Do I use it as skincare? Do I use it as a primer? Do I use it as a primer before the primer? I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and use this guy. I'm also going to use it 10 times. Hopefully at that point, I would know what I'm going to use, like how it's supposed to be used. I don't know. I'm going to use it 10 times. And I think if, uh, if I reach or when I do reach the 10 times in, if I enjoy the product with however way, like, okay, I discovered that I need to use it this way. I'm going to keep it. If not, 
it's I, I it's time to let it go. I don't even know what to do with it. So there it is. Um, my fourth prompt was the 30th movie, which is Us. And it is an item that is a dupe. Um, I, I, I believe I rolled all the dupe items uh, in my first go. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and go with a perfume. I don't want to call it a dupe because it's not really a dupe. It's an inspired by perfume. Um, this is by Dossier and this is the Musky Musk uh, perfume. This is inspired by Juliette Has a Gun, which I do really, really love. So mm, I'm excited to use this guy. I think I'm going to use it. Mm, I haven't set my goal for it. Maybe I will use it because I know I really like it. Um, I'm really close up to the top. Maybe I'll uh, use it until I reach the bottom of the, the top notes line. So mm, I don't know. I don't know how many uses that will be. But yeah, the, uh, when it sits flat, it's pretty full. So uh, my fifth prompt is number 33, movie 33, which is Friday night. And uh, the prompt for this one is a red item or something vampire themed. <laughs> I just texted my friend Valerie before I sat down to film this video and I was like, I can hear your little voice over my shoulder telling me that just buckle up and finish this product. So should I listen to your imaginary voice or should I go with what I was thinking? And she's like, of course you have to listen to the imaginary voice. And her imaginary voice was telling me to go ahead and finish this little guy. This is uh, a lipstick by Pat McGrath and this is the shade Elson. It is red. I am wearing it today. Hopefully I don't have any hmm, no lipstick on my teeth. Um, there's not much left in here and that's why I kind of like Okay, I think she would be like, no, you have to finish this thing. You can't just use it 10 times and just call it done. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish it. Not finish it to the point where I dig in all the product that's in the bottom. No, finish it until it's like smooth. I can't use it any longer without it scraping my lips. Um, yeah, this is definitely going to be more than 10 uses. It is very pigmented. I do love the color. I love the formula. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use that guy up. And my last one, prompt number six, was for the movie Seven, and that is an item that's still in its box packaging. I have a lot of items that are still in <laughs> box packaging. And this one, I had to go dig into my new makeup drawer because I did not want to use something that I already used before and it's still in its packaging. That means it's really close to my heart. Mmm... Well, sometimes I like the packaging, so I keep it. But anyway, I wanted to finish this product and I picked this one. This is Benefit, the Professional Super Setter. It is a mini. It is only 15 milliliters, but I think I do want to go ahead and finish this guy up. And I know I can. Uh, let's actually open the thing. I don't think that I've ever opened it from its packaging. And there it is. Yeah, it's a little tiny guy. Um, yeah, I'm going to work on it and I do want to finish it. So I have... To finish and then six uses on the palette, 10 uses each for primers. Is this a primer? I don't know. If you've used this guy and you know how to use it, let me know. And then for this one, I do want to reach the bottom of the top, like the bottom of the top. Okay. This, this, the top notes line on here. Mm, can we do this? Here we go. Oh, down to here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this intro. If you don't know about this project, where have you been living? Go ahead and check out my description box. I'll have the link to Fantastic Ladies. I'll have the link to this project specifically. I will also link my friend Valerie's Instagram page. I'll have her handle in the description box and Jay Lynn's uh, YouTube channel. I'll have it in the description box. If you don't follow them, if you don't watch, well, Jay Lynn makes videos, but uh, Valerie only do, does uh, painting posts, but you know, you need to go ahead and follow them. Um, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Keep an eye out on my monthly updates. I promised that I was going to do monthly updates for this one. And I can't let my friend down. I have to. I have to do it. I Yeah, I have to. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.